definitely hop on this ASAP because like I said, this is going away July 1st and I don't know if the new business suite that is replacing this will have this capability available. So what's up everybody alvaro here from alvaro barrios digital and today i'm going to talk to you about one of my absolutely favorite tools in the facebook ad suite which is unfortunately going away later this year and i'm talking about facebook audience insights so this is a tool that most people actually don't know about and is very rarely used but i've always seen that as a good thing because it was almost like a secret weapon that my team and i could use in order to do research for our clients and build better campaigns for them so if you're not familiar with the audience insights tool and you're hearing this for the first time right now that it's going away you might be thinking oh who cares I never use it in the first place but you definitely do want to pay attention and use it as soon as you can before it actually goes away because Facebook audience insights is being replaced with a tool called business suite now I have not had an opportunity to test out business suite I'll probably do a video on that another time when I have a little bit of time to actually figure it out and see what it actually does and what you know information it can actually offer but in the meantime if you haven't hopped into insights audience insights that is you'll definitely want to go in there to grab the data that's still available until july 1st of 2021 if you wait until july 2nd then this information will no longer be available so why do you want to go into facebook audience insights in the first place well it's because you're going to be able to certain targeting options that you may not have thought of before or that you've never used in the past or maybe that you had no idea even existed and so that's the beauty of facebook's audience insights is that it really opens opens up your eyes to other possible targeting options that are available out there. Because let's face it, everybody for the most part uses the same targeting options, right? So you hop into 10 different accounts that are all in the same niche and they're all using the same targeting options. But if you go into Facebook audience insights, right, you might have an opportunity to use another targeting option that no one knew existed. So where do you find Facebook audience insights? Well, when you're inside of your ad account, you want to toggle over to the business tools menu in the upper left. Then once that opens up, you're gonna scroll down a little bit until you see a little icon on that says audience insights now when you click on that some people are already being redirected to the new business suite tools menu which again I have not had an opportunity to test that out if that is the case for you if you are being redirected to that don't worry you can still use audience insights simply head on over to Google type in Facebook audience insights and then you're gonna see a link right there that you can click it's gonna give you a page that just gives you an overview of what audience insights is and then you can get started on audience insights by clicking the blue button and then you'll get to the actual audience audience insights landing page. So when you actually get to that page, you're going to see a box that immediately pops up that's going to ask you if you want to analyze everyone on Facebook or people who are actually connected to your page. In other words, your fans. Now, if you have a big enough fan base for your business page, it actually probably would be pretty interesting for you to actually start that way and clicking that option and just seeing the breakdown for people who actually have liked your business page. But if not, you can just exit out of that and just look at the default menu, which actually is all of Facebook. So in this default menu, you're going to see a lot of information information on the users of Facebook, the gender breakdown, um, their relationship status, the education level, the job titles that people have. You know, this stuff is interesting, uh, but it's not a game changer, so to speak. You're not going to see any of this and, you know, have your mind be blown, so to speak. Where the beauty of Audience Insights comes in, though, is doing interest research. So obviously, or hopefully I should say, at this point, you are running Facebook ad campaigns and you have or are using certain interests that you can target on Facebook. So on the left-hand menu, there is a little box that says interests. And as an example you can go to that menu and type in Tony Robbins we'll use in this example and his name will come up and then you can click on that and then it'll give you the information for the fans of Tony Robbins but you don't want to be looking at the very first tab that it gives you you actually want to toggle over to the page likes tab and then scroll down to actual to the page likes menu and so there it's gonna give you the top 10 pages that people who like Tony Robbins also follow and that's where the beauty of Facebook audience insights comes in from because let's say for example you've already been targeting Tony Robbins for a long time and maybe that audience is getting saturated but you have no idea who else to target well then you look at other people that um, fans of Tony Robbins follow and you're gonna see people like Wayne Dyer and probably Brendan Bouchard Sandy Krakowski people like that and if you're not familiar with any of those people and you're not sure oh is this an actual good fit for my target audience are they really following this person all the links on there that you see are actually uh, clickable so you can click on the link it'll actually take you to the page of that person and then you can just verify okay cool this is a good fit for me to target and go after but it doesn't just end there right so you might be looking at that and being like okay cool I'm gonna take the top five that it gives me here and I'm gonna make those into targeting
trading options. You certainly can do that, but you can actually go even deeper with your research here. So let's just say, for example, you're looking at people who follow Tony Robbins and you notice that they also like Sandy Krakowski. Well, guess what? You can grab Sandy Krakowski's name, put that into the interest box, and then see what fans of Sandy Krakowski, what other pages they're following as well. So that new menu is going to come up and you're going to see people like Nick Ortner and other options in there as well, which again, it'll just give you a whole slew of potential charting options that you may not have used in the past. And so you just keep on going down this rabbit hole of you find these great targeting options. And then even when you find a new one, you take that new one and you put it back into the interest box, search that one, see what else comes up and then grab something else from there, put that into the interest box, see what else comes up. And you keep on going and you keep on going until you've kind of like exhausted that rabbit hole. And then before you know it, you have a very extensive list of amazing targeting options that you can go after. Now, one thing to know is that everything that appears in Facebook audience insights, it's not automatic that it actually is a targetable option for your Facebook campaigns. There's a very high probability, but it's not a guarantee. So if you go back into your campaigns and you're trying to add something and it's not coming up, it just means that unfortunately it can't be targeted at this point in time. Another thing that you're going to notice when you're looking at this is that you can go beyond the top 10, right? You can just click on see more and it'll keep on going and going and going. I personally wouldn't really recommend going beyond the top 10 simply because after that, you know, the similarity between the people who like, you know, Tony Robbins and whatever is in the 30th spot of that list. Uh, is that super similar? Probably not. So I would just keep it within the top 10. And also just because something is in the top 10 doesn't make it a good targeting option by default, right? So if, for example, again, using the Tony Robbins example, then you, know, you see target come up, it probably wouldn't come up, but I'm just making this up for the scenario. Let's say target comes up. Do you really want to target, target, target? <laughs> I didn't realize I was going to come up with that. Do you really want to use target, the store, the retail store as a targeting option you, when you were already targeting Tony Robbins before? Probably not. Those are very drastically different things. So always, you know, click on them, verify what the information is, and then keep on doing your research that way. So definitely hop on this ASAP because like I said, this is going away July 1st and I don't know if the new business suite that is replacing this will have this capability available. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you'd like for to see if there's a way that you can work with me and my team, head on over to alvarobarros.com forward slash FB help. You can fill out a brief form right there so I can learn a little bit more about you and your business. Then you and I will hop on a brief Zoom call and we'll figure out what the best solution is for you. I do not have cookie cutter solutions. I have custom solutions based upon your specific scenario. So I will link that just below. So that is all for this week and I will see you in the next one. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. It really helps push this video out to the YouTube algorithm. That way more people just like you can watch this information and benefit from it just like you have. And if you have any other topics you'd like for me to cover, definitely just let me know in the comments below the most popular and requested topics I get. I turn into videos just like this one. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss any valuable content that I put out on a weekly basis. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it.